Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Baseball Every Day. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button while you're at it so you can get the top news from all MLB. Off-season recap. Uh, this off-season and starting up in 2021, I'm going to try and expand my channel a lot, so stay with me. Doing a recap, hopefully, every day of the week. Um, and getting to all off-season news. So, a few minutes ago, we have reportedly Corey Kluber, Klubot, signing a one-year deal with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, who are really good at fixing pitchers, maybe are trying to help Corey Kluber um, fix him out. Probably be that uh, second guy in that rotation. Blake Snell left a year ago, but Tyler Glassnow is still the ace of that uh, rotation, and I think Klubot could be a good two or three guy, um, depending on uh, if they keep their um, starting pitchers up there. Anyway, um, keeping Brett Honeywell, but Brett Honeywell's on the A's, I just wanted to tell you, but um, players in return, they may have gone. So, the uh, Tampa Bay Rays, who are known to turn play pitchers, who are maybe average or below average into pretty good players. Um, we saw them do it with a lot of people so far. Probably the number one pitching and number one in that category of, you know, helping pitchers out. So, um, Corey Kluber, Tampa Bay Rays, you know. Corey Kluber, who was ranked, I think, fourth tier by MLB in uh, free agents. I don't think he was that. He might be a three or something like that. Kluber is not the best as he once was, won a Cy Young back uh, a few years ago. He is not the same anymore, but you, know, you always have a, uh, a free agent. So, Corey Kluber, one-year deal to the Rays. Thank you for watching this. Stay tuned for all off-season news and anything coming up. Thank you. Bye.